Lava Experiment Bubbles form in lava as it rises up from deep underground. With a straw, you can add bubbles to your lava too. Stir each sample with your straw, then blow bubbles in each cup. Note, bubbles in the thick lava may not look like the bubbles you're used to. So this is the thin lava. This is the thick lava. You can see how thick it is. Looks very, very different than the first kind of lava. Okay, so the first step was to blow bubbles. This is bubbles in the thin lava. That looks like, you know, what you're used to if you've ever blown bubbles in your milk or your water. This is the bubbles when I try to blow in the thick lava. I'm blowing, nothing's, oh! Did you notice how it took a while for anything to happen after I blew? And they look pretty different. Look at that. Really different than the thin lava. Now I've got a lot going. I didn't stop blowing that whole time. I was blowing really hard too. It wasn't easy. Oh, which lava is it easiest to blow bubbles in? I know you're not the one doing it, but I kind of just told you. Which one was easier to blow bubbles? Now question number three. See if you can blow just one bubble. So I'm going to try to blow one bubble in this thin lava. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was not one. I'm going to try again. Nope. Try again. No. Way more than one. There were a bunch. I promise I was trying. I was trying to blow really, really um just a little tiny blow and I couldn't do it I couldn't get it to just do one so can you do it in the thin lava explain like explain how many when I tried to blow just a little bit now what about the thick lava all right I'm going to try to blow one bubble so I did it kind of gentle but nothing happened I had to blow a little bit harder and eventually I got just one bubble it was a lot easier to do it in the thick lava because it was harder to blow the bubble in the first place. Okay, now I'm just comparing how the bubbles are different. So you can see on the left I have the thin lava. As I blow, I'm blowing equally in both. On the left it was bubbling like crazy, okay? On the right, not so much. With your partner, put one spoonful of the thin lava on the plate. Try to make it into a mountain shape. Okay, so I'm using the thin lava the very watery kind, and I'm going to try to make it into a mountain shape. I bet you can predict what's going to happen if I try to make a mountain shape using this thin lava. Here goes. Uh, it's kind of just going everywhere, isn't it? It just spread out really thin everywhere. Definitely doesn't look like any mountain I've ever seen. I'm going to add more. Try to get it to be a mountain. If I keep putting more, is it just going to get taller and taller? No, it's just going to keep spreading, right? That is so not like a mountain. Look at that. So flat. Okay, so draw a picture in the box showing how tall it turned out. So what are you going to draw here? You can't draw a tall mountain because that's not what it did, okay? That's what you're going to write right there. Repeat step one, so the one above, with the thick lava, trying to make a mountain shape with the thick lava. Here goes. Okay. Look at, oh, nice. Look, I'm trying to form it kind of into a mountain. Sure, it's not a perfect mountain, is it? But, I mean, it's a lot better than the thin lava, for sure. So, what did that look like? Draw a picture kind of curved because it got taller compared to the other one, okay? That's what you'll draw there. Number seven, what kind of lava do you think shield volcanoes have? So that's what a shield volcano is. What, what kind of lava do you think they have and why? Why? Number eight, what kind of lava do you think cone volcanoes have? That's a cone volcano. Why? Why do you think they have that kind of lava? Now we're going to watch the next video to see which type of bubbles make volcanoes explode. Here I just wanted to show you the difference in the lava as I kind of tilt the plate around just so you can really see how the thin lava is moving everywhere. 
the thick lava just lava. stayed right there. <laughs> and now here's just something of us being silly because, you know, when a camera's on, it's hard for us to be normal. So we're being volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all at once, let's burst up. So get down. <laughs> Three, 